school shooting threat prompted extra security today at Sandalwood High School. I'm Tanika Hughes. I'm John Bachman. It's one of a dozen threats Action News Jax has reported on in recent months in Duval County. New at 530 Action News Jax Elizabeth Pace spoke to parents who believe not enough is being done to keep kids safe. Students at Sandalwood High School sat in class with additional district police officers in their hallways Friday. It comes after the school found a note on the bathroom wall earlier this month threatening to shoot up the school on November 30th. Police here this morning just to make sure that nobody walks into the campus that shouldn't be here and to keep the kids safe. I think that it, they, they can't be too careful. Students were wanded with handheld metal detectors before they were allowed in class. School administrators, teachers, security officers, and district police were stationed throughout the campus. We were here this morning when we saw a school administrator come and put this lock on a school gate right now, and we're actually standing next to another district police officer who's parked at the building right over there. It's one of three district police that we see outside right now. But not all parents agree with the school's response. Nova Taylor was in line to drop off her sophomore when she decided to keep her home instead. They're searching the kids. You've got to go to the auditorium so you can be searched. They've got to figure something else out because this isn't working. They're, they're making our children feel like they're in prison when they should be in school. Taylor says these security measures are too intense for students and suggested the school use less invasive tactics. I totally get using metal detectors, um, but searching these kids and making them all go somewhere and having police search them down and all of that. They're not criminals. They're kids. I reached out to DCPS to see if there was an update with the situation. A spokesperson told me, quote, students and staff are safe and continuing with a normal day of learning. Reporting in Sandalwood, Elizabeth Pace, CBS 47, Action News, Jax.